Let's really not have this conversation it's, it's, here. No, it's, it's, it's hell. Absolutely it's hell the worst hell. place to have this conversation. I have it's, two it's, meetings it's, before. It's absolutely spot on. Four thirty will be fine. Yeah, no, it's, it's, <laughs> four o'clock, guys, if that's okay, just so you're in, in plenty of time. Thank you. Right, we'll kick off, as I say, as many questions to Andy first as possible. Well. I have we'll no time for press conference we'll anymore. Discuss it straight up. It's only half one. It's all good. Vinny, get us out of this. <laughs> Can we have the uh, microphone <laughs> to Vinny O'Connor, if that's okay? Vinny, first, uh, first three, Sonny, yeah. we'll go. <clears throat> uh, Andy, obviously, injury kept you out of the weekend. How is it? And also, is the ankle still been a problem, or is that completely cleared up now as well? No, the ankle's felt... Um, good um, since the winter break it's felt um, really good so obviously that week off helped um, just Friday in training come on Pauly just yeah um, club photographer as well <laughs> just uh, Friday in training just overstretched my hams uh, overstretched my hamstring and um, yeah a couple of interesting conversations um, <laughs> and obviously I thought I was fine but the cautious approach get took and uh, Millie went on to be man of the match so um, perfect for the club and uh, I obviously managed to sit out and um, I'll train today so uh, all good on that front Battle to get your place back then? Yeah <laughs> yeah look like I think with how many words have we said about Millie positively um, you know he could play in goals and probably give it his all and try and keep a clean sheet for us so he can play any position and um, you know when he goes into you know left back or right back or whatever then um, he shows how good a player he is and how good a professional he is and he done that on Saturday again. Andy what thought do you give to the fact that not only tomorrow could you be through to the last eight of the Champions League but by the time you get back to the dressing room as well you could know that you have a chance to go to Goodison Park and win the Premier League title? Our full focus is on you know our game to be honest. Um, you know, we can't affect anything that's going on over in Manchester um, tomorrow night. It's obviously their game in hand and they play against Arsenal. But, you know, for us, our full focus is on here. Um, if we win here, then that's all that matters. Um, of course, if we get one step closer by doing that and they do drop points, then then so be it. But, you know, one eye won't be on that game. It's a different competition. It's the Champions League and we know it's, you know, do or die. We need to get through to the last eight. We need to give everything to do that. Um, and we can't be focusing on Premier League business. It's, it's full focused on Champions League and hopefully we can take care of business um, tomorrow night. When we spoke after the first leg, you said that you felt that they were favourites to go through. So what's the key thing that you'll have to deal with on the night to give yourselves the best chance of, of getting past them? You know, over there, we never had the shot on target. Um, so if we... <laughs> If we do that again, then we won't get through. Um, we dominated possession, which you know I believe we'll, we'll do again tomorrow night at Anfield, but it's about what we do with that possession. It's about creating the chances and, and trying to be clinical in front of goal, and that's what we need to do tomorrow night. We need to create more chances than we did over there, um, and when they fall to us, then we need to try and take them because we're obviously 1-0 down, and we need to try and overturn that. But on the flip side, we need to be wary of them going forward, and... We need to try and keep a clean sheet to give us the best possible chance and we need a complete Liverpool performance and if we can do that then we believe we cause any team's problems and we can beat any team um, and hopefully tomorrow that's the case. Simon? Andy, we know how magical that nights can be here at Anfield. What difference do the fans actually make for nights like this? They make a huge, you know, up to this point they've made a huge impact, they've made a huge difference for us but it's something that us as players and especially the fans, can't take it for granted. Um, you know, we can't just show up and think the Anfield crowd is going to get us through or, you know, they can't think that, you know, it's going to be noisy so I don't need to take part or whatever. We need everyone to be at 100% tomorrow, whether it's us, whether it's the staff, whether it's the fans. Everyone needs to be at their best because we know what task we're coming up against. We know how hard it's going to be and, um, you know, obviously our performance, the fans react off. So, you know, hopefully we can go off to a fast start and get them right behind us and um, hopefully it can be a another special Anfield night. And whereas I appreciate that the focus is on the Champions League right now, how did you feel when you found out that Manchester City had lost in that derby game? Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it, yeah. Um, I watched it. A good game of football. Um, um, you know, even last season when it was, you know, close for us, I didn't not, you know, watch any game. So, you know, it was a good game and obviously the result favoured us. That's, that's the way it is. It took us a step, you know, it was quite nice sitting back and knowing we've done our job at the weekend and knowing we're a step closer to winning the league without kicking a ball and 
that's obviously a nice feeling and for us for, for Man United to do it was you know a good performance for them and a good result for them more importantly and um, you know for us it's took us that one step closer to what we've all dreamed of so um, but now we need to take care of our business um, you know we'll focus on this Champions League game and then we know we're we're two wins away from achieving probably 30 years of heart for Liverpool fans so we'll focus on that another day Thursday we turn to that but this time um, it's just about focusing on trying to get to the last eight and a competition that's been so good to us that um, you know hopefully we can continue that. Sorry, any more on this side? We've got a couple of questions over there. If anyone on this side has a question to Andy, if not, we'll take the microphone over. Sorry, we uh, can take the microphone over. I think uh, Carl, then Dom, in that order, if that's OK. And if you can get my eye, if you've got any more for Andy before we let him go. Carl. Hi, Andy. Um, I think everyone's probably expecting Atleta to come here and frustrate you and use every gamesmanship trick in the book. I just wonder how you as players feel about that and how you deal with it on the pitch on the night. Um, we had a, you know, obviously we have experience of, you know, coming up against them now. We've had that one game, and to be honest, I thought over there we dealt with it pretty well. Yeah, it get of course it's it's frustrating at times, and but you know, it's not going to change. So that's up to you know we're out of control of that. It's up to you know whether the referee or officials or whatever to to deal with it if you know it's getting too much. But for us, we need to focus on our game. We need to, you know, we can't be getting annoyed at stuff that we can't control. We need to stay clear. We need to stay calm in our heads. Um, and if we do that, that gives us the best possible chance to to perform at highest level. So, I think over there has helped us to experience that and um, hopefully know how to deal with it. And um, you know, hopefully we can show that tomorrow night. And, and like I said, stay calm and, and be able to create the chances that we need to create. Okay, uh, Dom King. But after that, if there's any more for Andy, if people can catch my eye, and if not, we'll then move on to a uh, question for Jurgen. Let Andy go. Dom, with potential. Uh, Andy, um, the the two times you've played in this competition, you finished the season in the final. Um, just wonder, you know, the the challenge that you've faced tonight, um, tomorrow night. Have you given any thought to the prospect that this might be your last game in the Champions League this season? And and what is the worry of that? Yeah, look, we we think of all outcomes. You know, we done that when. You know, when we were playing against the teams over, um, you know, over the last two years that we've played, even when we've gone into games in the league, it's a knockout competition. And if you're not at your best on the night, then you go out. You know, whether you go into a game with a lead or whether you go in behind, then, you know, it's no change. So for us, we know that tomorrow night we could be out of the Champions League if, you know, we're not at our best or if things don't go well. But we think about the positives. We think about trying to give um, 100 percent performance. And that, like I said, if we play the Liverpool way in the way we know, then you know at least we can walk off knowing you know we've gave it our all. Whether that's good enough, we'll wait and see. But we believe if we put in the performances, then um, you know we can beat any team, and, and it's up to us to show that. But we need to be at our best to break this team down, and, and if we do that, then I believe we can create chances and hopefully score some goals. Okay. Any final ones from Andy before we allow him to uh, go and prepare for the training session, which starts uh, despite.